Let's talk about the dam ecosystem. Dam cannot live on an island. It's not just a repository where you throw things away and lock it away because there's not a lot of value there. It needs to connect to other enterprise systems. Every year we like to focus on um, a different type of uh, partner, so uh, looking at a different type of collapse. So some apps for distributed marketing templates, like what is that? When you have additional teams that are going to take assets and use a template and then maybe make a localized version, for example. There's many different apps and solutions on there that can, that can leverage that. So what we did is we provided an API to connect to the digital assets, to our UI, our workflow system, everything that you've seen across the exchange that all the other apps use as well to extend some of the existing functionality that we have in our platform for content management as well as using InDesign server as well. So I'll turn it over to Josh to, to highlight one of our partners today. Great, and yeah. So I'm going to show you uh, a quick demo um, that uh, thanks to our partner, Silicon Publishing, uh, they were able to leverage our APIs that Elliot was just talking about and also leverage and harness the power of InDesign Server to really extend a, an idea that we implemented in 6.3, which was around InDesign templates and being able to uh, make quick updates with an AEM. They, you know, Silicon Publishing has then taken that to a, a, another level with their Silicon Designer product. So what I'm going to show you is an example here, right? We have three templates already. Uh, and, you know, when I click in here, we have a little nice icon here that says, hey, you know, uh, configure this template. As soon as I click on that, what it does is it's automatically pushing me over into Silicon Designer. Uh, and from here, I now have all of the WYSIWYG uh, capabilities that come with this particular product, right? So uh, if you guys were here last year, you probably you recognize this guy, Lionel Richie. He was, uh, you know, he made a cameo in one of our surfing uh, assets last year. Uh, so that was last year. So now I want to actually change this to this year uh, and add some uh, some new content here, right? So uh, what I can do is I can come over here and just drag and drop uh, an asset. Uh, I can resize this if I want to make sure that uh, it fills up the whole particular area. I can move it over. Uh, and I can even update the text here, right? So this black text isn't very readable here. So I can just easily highlight it, come over here to the handy dandy color picker and say, hey, you know, let's put that in white so that it pops a little bit more. Uh, and then the other thing you'll notice is like, hey, what this is supposed to be all about like snorkeling and, and swimming. Why is there a heart rate monitor there? That doesn't make sense. So uh, I think what makes sense is probably a pair of flippers. So I can just drag and drop those flippers there. Uh, I can update the summer sale text if I wanted to, the 10% off if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do here is say, yeah, this looks pretty good. I at least have the flippers in there, not a heart rate monitor. So I'm going to hit save. And now when I hit exit, it's actually going to push me back into AEM. And what's happening is this, this is actually being processed as a sub-asset within this particular template. Uh, so that way the template doesn't get all messed up. Uh, what I can do is click in here and go into sub-assets. And you'll see that we now have our new asset. Right? And so if I click on that, I now have a big version of this. I can download this. I can print it. I can leverage this. Right? So again, this is bringing the power of our partners to help extend the functionality uh, around AEM assets and templates and InDesign server. This is great for distributed marketing. Right? So we, we have a saying. It's called design within guardrails. This is a really great example of that. And you know, I want to say it's a great demo. And thanks to Max and the Silicon Publishing team for helping out with this particular one.